It is 10 a.m. Let's go check out Allure of the Seas. Welcome to Allure of the Seas. Let's start off in the Royal Promenade. Here we can find Sorrento's Pizzeria. Sorrento's is free of charge and it's the last place to close down for some food. In my opinion, the best pizza at sea. If you're in for more of a chill vibe atmosphere, we got the Bowen Stern. Here we can find live music, great drinks, and have fun while listening to your favorite cover music. If champagne is what you want, Champagne and Martini Bar is there for you. With more of an upscale rustic view, it is a quiet space for great conversations and enjoy each other's company. If you want something more lively, Bolero is salsa night every night with great tropical drinks and music that will make you dance to the rhythm. But if you're ready for that audition, On Air is one place where you can put your talent to good use. This karaoke bar is great for good memories and some laughter. Between all the shops you can find, please make sure to find some time for Next Cruise. They will help you get some great discounts for your next destination. But his Scooter's Bar gives you some great piano focused music while serving all types of classic drinks that will provide you with the best views of the Royal Promenade. Believe me, that comes in handy. You'll see later. Cafe Promenade usually closes late with some few quick bites so you can continue your night. Now let's take it to the center of attention of Allure of the Seas, the Rising Tide. The Rising Tide is a floating bar that will take you from Royal Promenade to Central Park. With great service, you get to enjoy your drinks, the favorite ones at least, while taking it to the different height. When you're not in the tide, you get to enjoy the beautiful water fountain that emerges upon its lift. Although it is fairly slow, taking about 15 minutes to move through three decks, this is one experience, believe me, you do not want to miss. But now that we've seen parts of the ship, let's get ready for our sail away party. And that's upstairs. <laughs> Now that we have sailed away, let's go ahead and check out the boardwalk. With the carnival type atmosphere, you can find a lot of unique experiences here. From a carnival hot dog stand to ice cream parlor shops, a unique handmade hand carved carousel, which you do not have to be a child to enjoy. The boardwalk offers a dynamic way to engage family in classic fun 
as well as casual eateries, retail outlets, and carnival games. But one of the most unique adventures here in Allure of the Seas has to be the zipline. Completely free of charge, this zipline takes you across the ship and 15 decks high and is one adrenaline infused experience that you're going to want to have to try for yourself. Once you land on the other side, you're going to find Dunes Miniature Golf, another free activity for you and your family to enjoy and have some slow paced memories. Great fun, beautiful skies, and you get to enjoy the beautiful sea. But if you're in for a more dude worthy experience, this ship has two flow riders. Whether you can surf or boogie board, this is one place where you can put your experience to the test. The Flowrider is standard in Royal Caribbean ships, so you can keep practicing and getting better for your next cruise. Let's visit Central Park. As you walk through Central Park during the night, you will find some great peaceful live music, and during the day you will hear the birds singing. It's a great sensory area of the ship, with a wonderful fresh scent, accompanied by sights of beautiful flowers and vines. But it's not just an outdoor space though. There's a lot more than a pathway and some plants. Central Park is a great place to relax with various areas to sit. It's also lined by some of the most popular restaurants and shops, such as Chops Grill Steakhouse, 150 Central Park Modern Type Restaurant, Giovanni's Table, a great Italian cuisine, Vintage's Wine Bar, and much more. Central Park is one great place to enjoy an evening and have a beautiful date. Now let's talk about entertainment. Let's start off with the 70s Inferno Party. This is one party you do not want to miss. Right in the heart of the ship in the Royal Promenade, Please make sure to make your way to Bowen Stern because you have something in store for you. We got there pretty early and thankfully because it gets pretty packed here. Now once you get to the Bowen Stern you're going to see that big giant globe open up and a rolling stage will pop out. I would never figure this out on my own. It was a great experience to see it. It is pretty slow. I tried to put it at double time here just so you guys can enjoy it at a faster pace but being there it took quite some time to involve but now let's enjoy the party In the Amber Theater, you're going to find the Broadway show Mamma Mia. 
If you've never been to Broadway before, this is one great experience for you. and You're going to have a lot of fun. The Mamma Mia Broadway show is inspired on the movie and it lasts about two hours and a half with a 15 minute intermediate for you guys can stop, get some refreshments, stretch out and go to the bathroom. Back to the boardwalk, in Aqua Theater you're going to find the show Oceania. Check your Royal app to see what time it is, what time is available and for you guys to reserve your seats. If you get there early, you can go ahead and get some standby seats if available. And in the front, you're going to have the splash zone. The splash zone is very, very wet. See, these people are jumping from two decks high all the way up to the water. And people get wet very easily. This show is full of adrenaline, very entertained. And they do some crazy stunts. Like this person jumping from the top of the boat all the way into that tiny space of water. This is one show you do not want to miss. It's very entertaining and I would see it again 10 times if I could. On Studio B, you're gonna find Blades. Blades is one of the Royal Caribbean's ice skating show. These ice skating shows are really entertained and I myself enjoy them a lot. I go to every single one of them every time I'm in a cruise because they're well worth it. And these people are so talented. Royal only gets the most talented people for their ships and I'm telling you that I enjoy every single second on board with Royal because they offer so much entertainment and so many different things. In Studio B, one of the most unique game is Royal Crazy Quest. In Royal Crazy Quest, it's an adult game only, 18 plus. They're gonna have some crazy quests that they're gonna ask you. It's like a scavenger hunt. They need to get different things from the audience. It's divided to different teams. Everybody has so much fun. And I'm telling you, this is, it, it's just funny. Look at these guys. They're, they're supposed to be at a beauty pageant. And if you see my other video of Liberty of the Seas, you can see how crazy it gets. Another entertainment is the Pirate Parade. I caught this by chance. Please make sure that you're looking at your Royal app constantly and making plans in order for seeing all these special events. I happened to walk upon it and I wish I could have been there sooner because it was very entertaining. It was very nice, the music, the colors and everything. If I would have got there on time, I would have had better footage, but I didn't have no space and as I said, I just walked upon it. So please make sure to check your Royal app. That's gonna guarantee that you get to places on time and seeing the best that they have to offer. If you enjoy the content till now, 96% of you are not subscribed. So please go ahead, hit that like button, subscribe, put those notifications on because we have a lot more destinations to visit. Our first port of call is Nassau Bahamas. Nassau Bahamas has some beautiful water and it's a great experience. If you don't have any excursions, just get out, enjoy the view and enjoy the place. They have a lot of things to do inside the port, but if you wanna walk out, there's a lot of shops for you to check out. So I'm not gonna bore you guys with all my talking. Enjoy the music, enjoy the views.
Alright guys, we're here in the Wing Jammer Market. This is the buffet for everything that you are going to be having in the cruise. You can have here your breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And it's always so live. There's everything you can want. There's everything you can need. And they also have a section where you can uh, make to order if you want some eggs or if you want any type of breakfast. It could be made to order. So, this is where you're going to spend most of your time eating. This is where you're going to gain your pounds, people. There's also two sides to this. So, if you see that one side is completely full, and the other side, uh, they had the same exact stuff. So, you can go ahead to the other side. Friends, the, the staff is very, very friendly here. And you also get most of the views. Right now I'm just going around so you guys can kind of get like the feel of it and how it is. Oh, Unfortunately, we're here on our last day. We're recording this on our last day. So that's why you see that everybody's celebrating, everybody's having a great time. Kind of to say thanks to the staff and their amazing work. You're also going to find these stations everywhere you go. There's water, decaf, regular, coffee, iced tea, lemonade. You can get those all throughout the cruise. If you don't have no type of drinking package that comes included with the cruise, then you're going to find them everywhere. the other side so everything we just saw in that first side you're gonna see in this side as well just in case it's too cool over there you can come over here yeah 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 yeah, yeah. again you go whatever you do may God bless you all thank you Let's go ahead and check out Silk. This is what you guys know in other cruise ships as main dining. So if you go ahead, when you book your cruise, you select the time frame that you want to eat and they'll provide a table every single night for you and the menu changes per night. So depending what the theme is, that's the menu that you get. So if you guys are enjoying this, please go ahead and subscribe. But after all the great adventure, exploration that we have done and the fascinating things that you can do in this ship let's go ahead to the vitality spa in the vitality spa you guys can get anywhere from massages to facials to haircuts they provide everything now they do come with a steep price a lot of services surpassing 200 dollars but if this is something that you want to check out go ahead to your royal app see where it's at go there and get oriented on what they offer per ship. This one is a pretty big one because Alert to See It is a huge ship. But thank you for joining us. Please go ahead, comment, like, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Unfortunately, our time is up here in the Alert, but we had an amazing time. We're gonna enjoy right now Central Park for the rest of our evening. But until our next destinations, Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.